Hi, I'm Robert Goodman, and today's topic is using charts to improve your images. In about five minutes, I'll cover why, when, and which charts should be in your toolkit. A waveform vector scope, which measures the output of cameras and recorders, when used with a proper reference chart, lets you match cameras, create unique looks, and simplifies color correction. This is a DSC Labs chroma demand chart. It has an 11 step crossed gray scale. It has 28 colors and DSC's Cava Black for setting absolute black. Using a chart is easy. Record a frame or two whenever you shoot a new scene, change lenses or the lighting. It gives your colorist or grader a consistent reference so they can work faster and remain true to your intentions. DSC's Cameline charts are rugged. These charts are mounted on aircraft grade aluminum and have easy to clean laminated surfaces. Every Cameline chart undergoes extensive quality control testing. Each chip on every chart is measured four times with a spectrophotometer to ensure that the chip meets the color standards set by the ITU. If any of the 52 color or grayscale chips fails to meet DSC's tight tolerances, the chart is destroyed. DSC charts will meet these tolerances until the chart reaches its recommended replacement date. Consequently, every Cameline chart will produce identical results. If we view these two charts on the vector scope, you'll see they're identical. Here's the first chart. I'll store this image so we can compare it to our second chart. Here's the output of a camera shooting the second chart. Now I'll overlay the image of the first chart. As you can see, it's identical. The colors on DSC charts are accurate for color, hue, and brightness as specified by ITU's Rec. 709 color standard. That's why the chart's colors fall within these targets. People ask me, why isn't this chart, which has been used for years, adequate? The reason is simple. Here's what it looks like on a vector scope. Doing color correction with this chart as a reference becomes a guessing game. There's no need to guess with a DSC chart. It's designed to the Rec. 709 standard only standard currently accepted worldwide, which is why DSC Labs and Vectroscope manufacturers use it. Why is this chart glossy? Wouldn't a matte finish be better? No, and here's why. As you can see, the matte black is not as black as the glossy black. On a waveform monitor, it's easy to see the difference. A matte finished chart just doesn't have the range current cameras need. For accurate results, the chart should be evenly lit. Check using your meter or use a waveform monitor. If there are reflections, use a black flag to eliminate them. Or use DSC's cam stand to tilt the chart slightly. The cam stand fits on any 5 8 inch stud. DSC's donkey clamp lets you mount charts anywhere you choose. DSC's tilt and hold stands fold flat for easy storage. Fill the frame when you shoot the camera line chart during production. It will simplify color correction later. If you're using a camera that outputs raw images, it's an absolute necessity to shoot a reference chart. The colorist or grader has total control, and unless you shoot a chart, no operating guidelines. Before you shoot anything, Use Cameline charts and a waveform vector scope to set up your camera. The first step is to adjust the camera for accurate color reproduction. Then, if you want, you can create unique looks. Cameline charts have frame line markers and a vector scope gain indicator. Set the gain here to match. Now, adjust the camera's controls until the red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow colors on the chart fall into these boxes. The intermediate colors are designed to appear as equally spaced dots between the primary colors. 
the chroma Dumont chart creates a hexagon that indicates the boundaries of this camera's color space. Using Camoline charts will improve your images and increase your productivity, paying for themselves over and over again. However, DSC Labs does offer options for less critical applications. There are cam books with four, five, or six charts and a front box series. For news and documentary production, DSC has camettes in two sizes. Batch calibration and less expensive backings make these charts more affordable. For students and teachers, this reasonably priced book on imaging technology includes over $500 worth of charts. A precision reference chart should have a neutral gray scale without any coloration of any kind and colors that are accurate and consistent from chart to chart. Inaccurate charts cause more problems than they solve, which is why I rely on DSC's Cameline charts.